Hey YouTube, it's Jeffrey here in Vestskogen. Quick note today, I have been a little bit distracted. I will give you more updates tomorrow, but don't worry, it's good news. So for today, I just wanted to mention something that I think gets overlooked in a lot of the conversations that I've been listening to, watching, reading, uh, in this whole intellectual dark web that I've been so wrapped up in over the past year or so. Um, and one of the conversations that just seems to be a third rail that we just cannot have a rational discussion about is intelligence. Now, even though there is a lot of good science on intelligence, we can't seem to have a discussion about it in the public sphere without conflating the ideas of intelligence and value. There seems to be this tacit thought that to say that someone is less intelligent or more intelligent is to say that they are less or more valuable in society. Now, they may be less or more valuable to the market, and they may end up making more money. Indeed, intelligence is the best predictor of life success in a more or less meritocratic society. However, in terms of our dealings with each other, in terms of our legal system, in terms of the respect we share with one another has nothing to do with intelligence. Whether your intelligence is, whether your IQ is 150 or 80 shouldn't determine how much I respect you or how fairly I deal with you. It may determine what job you do, but it certainly doesn't determine how well you can do that job. If you have an IQ of 85, you're not going to be a rocket scientist. Let's, let's just accept that. But that's not a bad thing. Like, there are lots of jobs that people with an IQ of 85 can do, and they can do really well. And if you do that job well, you can improve people's lives. Say you end up working as a mechanic or a machine operator for a machine that paves roads. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to do that. You don't even need to be particularly bright to do that. But if you do it well, you can improve the lives of thousands of people every single day. And that's with an IQ, a standard deviation below the mean. It doesn't matter. You can use your IQ for whatever you want. If you use it well, you can do a lot of good. And when we talk about IQ and, and figuring out what IQ is, what intelligence is, what G-factor is, and figuring out how that helps us organize society. That's not, that's not us trying to take this authoritarian role in society, or it's not us demeaning people who have lower IQs or exalting people who have higher IQs. It's just trying to understand the world and understand where we fit in it. And isn't that what we all want? I think so. More news tomorrow.